Here's a video on Simpson's Paradox. This is number 37 from uh, chapter 3 of the book. We've got two hospitals, large hospital and a small hospital in the same town, and they both perform lots of uh, surgeries, and they can be grouped into a major surgery category and a minor surgery category. And here's the numbers. For example, uh, oh yeah, and so here's the deal. The What we care about is whether um, you get uh, discharged on time after the surgery or if the discharge is delayed due to some sort of complication. So delayed discharge is bad. It indicates some sort of complication and certainly more time in the hospital and probably more expense. So these numbers, for example, mean that the 120 over 800 means that of 800 uh, major surgeries at the large hospital, 120 of them were delayed discharge. And for example, out of 250 minor surgeries at the small hospital, 20 of them were a delayed discharge. And the question is, which hospital is better in this regard? And one way to say that is, in which hospital will you have a lower chance of delayed discharge if you go in for a surgery? Well, the small hospital claims it is better. What they say is, out of 300 total surgeries that they did, only 30 were delayed, and that's 10%. Whereas in the large hospital, out of 1,000 total, 800 plus 200, 130 of their surgeries were delayed. That's 13%, seems significantly larger. And the question is, do we believe that claim, or is there something fishy about it? Okay. So the think is we need, I would say a good thing to, to say would be we, we need more information, and particularly um, we need to complete need to complete the table with all of the margins and calculate the marginal and conditional distributions. Okay. And we want to watch out for a possibly unfair average. Because what the small hospital did, we'll see in a second, it's using a marginal distribution, is really what it's quoting. That averages over a category. It does not take into account the distinction between major and minor surgeries. And that could be a possibly unfair average, which could lead to Simpson's paradox. Okay. So here's some show stuff. Now I've already set up part of it. Here's the, we're going to complete the table. We put in the marginal, the marginal counts, and then we'll do percentages in a minute. Okay. So as the small hospital noted, uh, if we group over the types of surgery, but we leave the hospital separate, we've got a 130 out of 1,000 being late for the large hospital, 30 out of 300 being late for the small hospital. We could also, it's not clear if it's going to be crucial to us, but we could also group for all the major surgeries, we could ignore whether it was a large or small hospital. There were 850 major surgeries done in town, and 130 of them were late discharge, delayed discharge. And there were 450, that's 200 plus 250, uh, minor surgeries, and 30 of them were delayed. And we might need the grand total, 160 uh, delayed discharges, grand total, out of 1,300 grand total surgeries. Now we know that um, to compare, to cross compare stuff, we need percentages. Um, to say who's better, who's worse, we need to make the percentages. Okay. So here's the percentages that we get. You can go ahead and calculate those yourself if you want. But for example, 120 over 800 turns out to be 15%. 30 over 450 turns out to be 6.7%. Okay. So now we're getting to, we got a complete table, and we can start to think about. Um, what is the fair comparison here? So, the small hospital says, look, large hospital is obviously worse, 13 bigger than 10. But if we don't group things unnecessarily, if we look, if we use the, um, the maximum amount of information we have, which is a good principle, we look, let's just look at the major surgery. If we condition on the major surgery variable and just say, let's look at only that as our temporary universe, then the large hospital, only 15% were delayed discharge, and the small hospital is 20%. So if you're going in for a major surgery, you're better off in the large hospital. Now what about the minor surgery? If you're going in for a minor surgery, now these are the only two numbers that we need to compare. Again, 5% versus 8%, smaller for the large hospital, fewer delayed discharge. So if, regardless of whether we're going in for a major surgery or a minor surgery, we're better off at the large hospital. So using the finer data is going to be giving us a better answer, a more accurate answer, and is not give, making an unfair average. 
So why, how on earth can the 13% be bigger than the 10%? Well, let's see, let's see why it might be an unfair average. Okay, let's go back to these numbers here. It's really crucial that if you just look at these four numbers, you cannot explain why these numbers would be different. You have to actually know the totals as well. Let's see what else we can say. What it, there must be something different between major and minor surgeries. It could because when we grouped them together, that was unfair and unreasonable. It was it was not a good idea. Well, let's look. Maybe major surgeries are are harder to do, are more challenging and more likely to create delayed discharge. Because notice what it's really these two numbers that are crucial. Eight hundred, the bulk of the large hospitals business is major surgeries. Eight hundred versus two hundred. And the bulk of the small hospitals' surgeries were minor surgeries. So if major surgeries are intrinsically harder and more likely to have complications and delayed discharge, that would explain why the large hospital looks worse, because it's, it's more ambitious. It's trying to do a harder job. And maybe it's doing a harder job better, but when you unfairly lump these two things together, that, that disappears. That's why these two numbers are useful. This, even though they are averages, they're still useful. It says that major surgery in itself has a 15.3% rate of delayed discharge, a lot bigger than the rate for minor surgery. So that does say major surgery is just harder to do. And because the, ma the, uh, the big hospital, the large hospital, does a lot more of them, it's going to look worse if you unfairly group major and minor together. Now one reason why it's really unfair to group these together is that you don't go into a hospital not knowing what kind of surgery you're going to have. You don't flip a coin and say, okay, eight times out of ten I'm going to get major and two times out of ten I'm going to get minor. You know you're either going in for major or minor, and in each case you're going to be better off at the large hospital. Okay, so now we can summarize that um, by looking at the conditional distributions and not just the marginal distributions these numbers that are inside the table and not the ones on the outside, we can see that regardless of the type of surgery, uh, the large hospital does better because it does more of the difficult major surgeries. And we know they're more difficult because of this comparison. Um, it looks worse when we unfairly lump the two types together, and that's an instance of Simpson's Paradox. So Simpson's Paradox is a cool thing in itself, but the main thing I wanted just, just to get across here is the importance of um, the conditional distributions and looking at the most detailed information that you can. And, um, and just as a good example, again, of this process of summing and percentages to get all these interesting numbers. And all of these numbers are meaningful in their different ways, but you don't want to make, you want to be a little careful about these judgments, especially when you've grouped things together.